uh, is actually supporting you. I Let support, us hear allow me my the point member of order. from Madare. I support. You have made your point. Please take your seat. Yes. Watch. Go the first one. First, allow me to raise this point of order as I support the no parts, no movement. And I can see the majority leader nodding because she always says, he always says he has a daughter. And so do I. But the point raised by Honorable Mayaka is a very serious one, which I think this House needs to inquire beyond the parts that must be provided to our school-going children. And my constituency and informal settlements are worst hit, as I am sure the rural areas. But am I in order to ask that a serious problem then needs to be inquired as to what condoms are doing in our ladies' toilets in Parliament when there are no parts in our schools? I have not finished. Madam Honourable Speaker, members. may I conclude? May I conclude Honourable by members. asking? The member for Madare is on a point of order. I'm on Let a point him of order. 30 seconds, Honourable Member. I'm on a point of order. order. Am I in order to ask our committee on social welfare of this bunge to answer the questions? Do you have so much money to waste that you can put condoms in our toilets when members lack facilities and our girls in informal settlements like pads. Am I in order to ask that this committee should be asked to put a statement to answer to this question? Thank you. Honorable members, honorable members, remember this issue came here yesterday. It has come many times. It is an issue of national importance. That one, we are on the same page. Honorable members, I know honorable member for Kisi had drafted a statement on that issue. She didn't do it on time, but I will indulge you for a minute, not to move the statement, but to make a comment, but also prepare the house for the actual statement that will come to the floor. So I would members. hope that we listen to each other so that we make progress. I'll indulge a few more people. Mm. I will give now honorable member for... Honorable Kangogo Bowen, then I will give Honorable Donya Toto. The issue of pads is for both gender. Yes. Honorable Kangogo. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, you know, I walked in when our late members of parliament, they were on their feet and shouting uh, pads, and I thought maybe they were seeking for, to be given, to be provided. But now, I'm informed, actually, Madam Speaker, that they are speaking for our girls. Yes. 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 Madam Speaker, I'm a father of many girls. <laughs> many girls, as I, I'm a father of my own girl and the father of girls of Marraquette East, Honorable Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, Madam Speaker, sorry, if you go to the constituencies we come from, especially the remote areas where we come from, our young girls, Madam Speaker, many of them, they have dropped the school because of just a simple reason of lack of sanitary parts. So, Madam Speaker, I want to support our members of parliament, the female members of parliament here in this case, that our girls must be provided with sanitary parts, given that this parliament passed uh, budget. For sanitary baths, nine hundred and I'm told nine hundred and forty million, Madam Speaker. If that is the case, Madam Speaker, and the workers are going without sanitary baths, the CS for education and the PH education or the gender, the, the ministry concerned, Madam Speaker, must they appear before this house and tell us what happened with the monies we appropriated for sanitary baths for our girls. I want to assure our female colleagues here that as, me, as male or uh, men members of parliament here we are supporting you 100 percent in this one thank you member thank you honorable kangogo and uh, this issue came yesterday